MTG and me, this is Charles, with the first part of a new segment we're calling Let's Play. Uh, Julie and I are each going to be opening one of these Ice Age starter decks and building an Ice Age sealed deck from the contents. So let's get started. Just going to slice this open. There's a little pull tab down here. But uh, I gave it a yank and she didn't want to go. So we're going to go through this like it's a sealed pool. And then we show the cards, I'll split them up by their types. So, Centaur Archer, multicolored, Sol Devi Smulacrum, Dreams of the Dead, Orcish Healer, Mind Warp, Justice, Green Scarab, Fanatical Fever, Soul Devi Machinist. Caribou Range. Brand of Ill Omen, Storm Spirit, Snow Covered Forest, Here's Plains, Snow Covered Swamp, Mountain, Snow Covered Island, Forest, Plains, another Snow Covered Swamp, Island, Forest, Plains, Swamp, Snow-Covered Mountain, Forest, Plains, Snow-Covered Swamp, Mountain, Island, a lot of snowlands this time, Snow-Covered Plains, Swamp, sweet, Snow-Covered Mountain, Snow-Covered Island, nice. Regeneration, Arctic Foxes, Essence Filter, Pestilence Rats, Sabertooth Tiger, Morphined, Death Ward, Battle Frenzy, Clairvoyance, Orcish Conscripts, Gorilla Pack, Aurochs, Dark Banishing, Barbarian Guides, Circle of Protection Blue, Essence Flare, Ray of Command, Burnt Offering, Orcish Lumberjack, red looking pretty good. Findhorn Brownie, Hydroblast, Keldoran Warrior, Limb Duels Cohort, Shambling Strider, Fear, and Foxfire. So this is the pool uh, I settled on. Uh, as much as I wanted to play something balmy like this Storm Spirit, you know, a 3-3 Flyer seems pretty good and limited. It's probably one of the better creatures I have, especially with this ability to just have to deal two damage to a target creature. There just wasn't enough depth in uh, blue and white. In particular, there's only two creatures in white and only one creature in all of the blue cards I had. 
So instead I've got uh, two uh, one drops, Orcish Constrips and the Orcish Lumberjack. Uh, Lumberjack I can tap to sacrifice a force to add three mana in any combination of red and green to my mana pool. So I can certainly, there's elements of ramp here. Similarly at the one drop slot I have a burnt offering which allows me to sacrifice a creature and add its converted mana cost in any combination of red and black into my mana pool. The Orcish Construct, he has to be attacking with at least two other creatures. So then in, in the two drop slot, I only have one two drop. The Orcish Healer has a bunch of regenerate type effects. Um, then I have this enchantment, Enchant Creature Fear. So target creature can't be blocked except by artifact creatures or black creatures. This is probably the best piece of removal I have, Dark Banishing. Uh, and then we have this Battle Frenzy, which is it's an effect that basically gives all my green creatures plus one, plus one, and all my non-green creatures plus one, plus zero. I've got a Fox Fire, which I can use to save one of my own creatures, and also gives me card draw next turn. And I've main boarded this Essence Filter in case Julia has any enchantments. So there's a risk there because I'm running some enchantments, but again, the pool is pretty shallow. Uh, Brand of Ill Omens, I think it'll help me finish near the end. Uh, if I can ramp in some of my larger creatures, then throw this out, even with the cumulative upkeep. It stops my opponent, Julia, from casting any other creatures. Uh, Fanatical Fever gives one creature trample and plus three, so good finisher. Mind Warp to basically strip out their hand. Then I got my big guys here, like my Shambling Strider. Uh, six mana, five, five, and we can spend two mana to give him plus one, plus zero. We've got a Morphine. It's just a three, three, sort of on curve, I guess. We've got the Orox here, which is a 2-3 for 4. Uh, Soldevi Simulacrum, a 2-4 artifact creature for 4 with cumulative upkeep of 1. Pestilent Rats, in this case, basically operates as a 0-3 wall. Uh, limb Duels, creatures blocking or blocked by Limb Duels cohort cannot regenerate. Uh, we got a Baldubian, or sorry, Barbarian Guides. Uh, tiger creature I control gain snow covered land walk of my choice. Uh, Saber tooth tiger two one first strike for three sure. Uh, fin horn brownies this guy's a one one for three but he has the ability to untap a target creature so I suppose I can commit to an attack and then use the fin horn brownie to hold back and untap my big guy. Then we've got a gorilla pack a three three for three um, who cannot attack if defending player controls no forests. Uh, but that's okay, he's still a 3-3, he can block. Then finally I got a Centaur Archer, uh, a 3-2 for 3, which I can tap to deal 1 damage to target creature with flying. Um, so that's it, that's the pool, I guess we'll see how the game goes. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.